Okay, that would be the last talk of today. Uh, my name is Vladimir Mikheyev, and today I will talk about the Unfold Maki, another package from the Unfold ecosystem, uh, which is responsible for visualization of event-related uh, potentials, or simply saying, electrical activity of the brain. Uh, as you may see from the name of this package, it's uh, based on Unfold package, which you just heard and also Maki for visualization. Uh, it's a package responsible for visualization. And also uh, packages like Algebra of Graphics, which is responsible for uh, mapping the EG data to visual elements and topo plots uh, for flexible topographical maps. And later you will see what does it mean. Uh, we developed this package for five years, uh, but active development started like two years ago. And this year, in January, we published it. So it's quite robust and people can use it already. So what I plan to talk, uh, first of all, what exactly Anthelmaki visualize? Uh, what are the benefits of using this package? And how else we can improve ERP visualizations? Okay, what are we visualizing? Uh, Quick reminder, there is such thing like human brain, and we can uh, detect the electrical activity of it from the scalp using such a thing like uh, as uh, electrical encephalography or EEG. And if you take this EEG data and average it and align by specific events, we can get such thing like as uh, event-related potentials or ERP. But there is a problem uh, visualizing this data that uh, the data is, has multiple features. It's multidimensional. And you cannot put all these dimensions and features uh, on one uh, figure. It would be too cluttering. So instead of that, we need to have multiple plot types, each of them prioritizing some features uh, of the data. And uh, using these many plot types, we can get the full picture of it. Like on this metaphor, uh, elephant is a uh, EEG uh, data, and these blind people are kind of different plot types, giving the uh, full picture. Uh, and each of these plot types uh, show different features, and uh, would be nice to have them in one package. And that's, uh, and here is the unfold monkey comes, and uh, here you can see eight plot times available uh, currently on our package, but there are more, of course. Uh, for example, I will tell about two of them. One of them is topo plot. It represents such features like uh, voltage, uh, a specific time, pod, uh, time point, uh, electrodes, and electrodes locations. Or, for instance, ERP plot, which is responsible, which shows voltage and time. And also, you can uh, see um, how different conditions affect the basic ERP. So, here, uh, the blue line is a basic ERP, and uh, green and yellow lines are sh showing how different uh, predictors affect this line. So, you can see it here, for instance, there's also variation of for conditional and uh, categorical uh, and continuous uh, predict predictors. Anyway, uh, so what are the benefits of using Unfold Maki? Uh, first question would be, is it the only tool on the market uh, doing this uh, task? Uh, not at all. Uh, two years ago, we did a user study and we find out that there are multiple, and we ask researchers what kind of tools they use. And we find out that there are multiple tools, but five of them are dominating. And four out of five of them are in MATLAB. And you see some problem here. MATLAB is expensive and maybe not uh, the best tool uh, for, um, maybe the not, not the best idea to use it. Uh, also in this study, we ask people, what uh, researchers, what kind of um, things are important for them in EG toolboxes. And the most popular response was customization. And after this user study, we actually started to develop our uh, Unfold Maki package more intensely, and we wanted to create highly customizable tool, which would be open source and free, uh, quite fast, at least faster than MATLAB. And at the end, it will give you professional ERP visualizations. And here you can see, uh, for instance, uh, how customizable, customi customizable is it uh, right now? Uh, like our motto is to make everything on the plot um, changeable. 
and if it's not yet, we work on it. And here you can see how, for instance, topo plot could be changed um, depending on our tasks. And of course, a shout out uh, to people who developed topoplots.gl, uh, which makes this possible. Uh, another thing, it's uh, another part of customization. It should be easily explorable. And here, Algebra of Graphics uh, helps us a lot. Uh, by changing the parameter mapping, we can change a lot on the figure. Um, so data, data could be uh, mapped uh, by, um, by rows, columns, facets. Uh, line types, uh, we can add some significance values, etc. About speed, um, we uh, are not the best tool uh, currently. MNE Python is, um, according to our benchmarking, uh, is the fastest tool for rendering, for instance, 50 top of plots. But at least uh, our tool is 15 times faster than EGLab, the leading, uh, the most popular uh, tool currently used by uh, EG researchers which is quite good, I think. And uh, also there is one uh, situation when our tool is a bit faster than a mini Python is when we um, render an animation, for instance. Okay, what are we planning to do next? Uh, how um, we want to improve ERP visualizations based on Unfold Mac and other tools? First of all, we want to um, um, solve uh, important, uh, uh, solve quite popular problem in uh, visualization in neuroscience that uh, researchers for some reason uh, forget to put uncertainty uh, on their figures. Uh, as you may see uh, from the study of Allen in 2012, almost 80% of articles in neuroscience do not show uncertainty for the data with more than three features. For instance, it could be a top of plot, which you uh, saw before. And why is it could be? According to our user study, uh, usually because it's really hard to do that. People just don't know how to put uncertainty on the figure. And uh, currently we are developing um, prototypes of uncertainty visualization. And um, here you can see some of examples of this uncertainty, uh, some of these prototypes. And uh, later we plan to do a user study to find uh, which of these uh, prototypes is the best. And the uh, uh, next uh, idea we have uh, to do in the future, it's a tool called ERP Explorer, which uh, explores a tool for regression ERPs. Here you can click out the uh, formula terms, electrodes, uh, the ranges, and we think that that could be quite useful for um, um, understanding ERP um, models uh, in the future. Uh, and it's based on bonito.gl. Uh, and uh, at the end, I would like to say thank you to contributors who made this tool possible. And also I would like to say thank you for listening to this talk. Uh, in this long day. Thank you very much for your attention. So have you any uh, question? One question, no question? Ah, you have it. If, if nobody else uh, wants to ask. Um, so, um, yeah, thank you very much. I mean, like, really nice visualizations. I mean, both of these talks, I, I think that was, was very uh, good. And I think that's also took a lot of, lot of work. So I, I liked it a lot. Um, also, I wanted to ask if I saw correctly here, it's it's mainly 2D plots, like, uh, um, sorry. Um, ah, yeah, I have to get closer. Uh, so um, is there like any value in like making some 3D plots or would that get too confusing or like to like if I don't know, um, mm -hmm. could you yeah make something meaningful out of that? Yeah, thank you very much for your kind word, words, first of all. Uh, second, um, yeah, I, I understand what you mean, like 3D visualization. Currently, we are not uh, working on such things. But also would like to say that there is some confusion between the words dimension because some people mean that it's like Cartesian dimensions and some people mean that it's like features. So in terms of features, we actually have multiple of them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, currently we are focusing only on just plain 
uh, XY figures on this package. But maybe in the future, 3D visualizations.